With regard to regulations as guided, we will prioritize that, Mr. Speaker. With regard to Kenya prisons, we have um, part of the Maraga Task Force ref uh, report. We have a number of recommendations on modernizing and reforming the prisons which we are taking up. I have prepared a CAP memo uh, which had not uh, been submitted to cabinet, but I'm sure uh, if I'm reappointed, that will be a priority. And the areas of reform include making the prison enterprises more productive by investing in better technology in their workshops to make sure they produce more competitive goods which are affordable. Number two, welfare issues. In fact, these seats you see here were made by prisons. Absolutely. So if they are empowered, because that is labor and skill is available, if they are given better equipment and uh, for carpentry, for masonry and other skills in the prisons, we're going to have better output and, and, and generate more revenue and avoid the prisons um, relying on s check all the time in these times of constrained budget. We also want to make sure that we improve on welfare issues, including the terms and conditions of service of prison wardens is part of the Maraga Task Force recommendation in consultation with the SRC. We also are working on soft software issues, for example, providing mattresses. Uh, we have a program called One Prisoner, One Mattress uh, program, uh, where up to now we have provided 10,000. Uh, from our budget, but also in, in, uh, with the support of other partners. And we want to make sure that every prisoner at least has a, a mattress, as we even work on physical facilities and the housing for our prison warders. We want to construct 28,000, and we have already, I think, I don't have the figures right now, but I think we've done nearly 500 in different prison facilities. We want to do 28,000. We should meet, almost meet the entire demand, because that is almost the, the population of our prison um, uh, uh, personnel uh, complement. Other than that, the prison land, there are certain um, serious uh, encroachments on, uh, on, on prison land. Uh, the most notorious one is the Kitale prison land, where out of the 3,000 uh, acres, uh, only less than 300 are available. The rest have been grabbed by powerful and former senior people in various administrations and their friends. We will have to recover it. We have engaged the National Land Commission and other stakeholders will recover the land. Number two, we have uh, provided as a policy that every prison land must have a title deed. Many of our prison lands are not titled, so we are working with our partners. We've been working with our partners in the Ministry of Lands to make sure that every land uh, of, of, of uh, prison land is uh, protected through titling.